Hello everybody, my name is Natalia Costa. Welcome to Skin at Heart, a world of wellness. Today I would like to tell you a little bit about one of the most important books I've ever read, uh, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza and how this book changed my life. This was, I read this book last year and this was definitely one of the most important books I've ever read uh, because Dr. Joe Dispenza brings a, a very um, interesting and important light uh, over a subject that we have been, uh, well, we haven't been focused on it. I was going to say we, we were underestimating it, but the truth is that our attention was not f focused on it. Uh, and actually, this is one of the sentences uh, that uh, most resonated with me from Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, which is, where we place our attention is where our energy is. And it actually is, because if you think about it, if, if, if you are focused on negative feelings, negative thoughts, then you are, you are giving all your energy to this uh, subject. And if you are focused on uh, positive feelings, positive thoughts, positive emotions, then your attention, your energy will be focused on the positive and, will, and you, will be, you will be vibrating to a higher frequency. This is not a, a mystical thing. Uh, there is actually a way to, to, to measure the energy levels in a room, for example, or in a, a place. It is also possible to, to, to measure the energy levels of a human being. And it has been proven, more than proven, uh, to, thanks to Dr. Joe Dispenza's investigations and thanks to other doctors and, uh, and uh, other investigations that are ongoing at the moment that after we, we, we do meditation, if we are focused on gratitude, if we are focused on joy, if we are focused on awe, uh, then our energy levels, our frequency, uh, our vi vibrational frequency is much higher than if we are focused on uh, uh, sadness or, or, or anger or anxiety. So uh, what Dr. Joe Dispenza does with this book is in the first chapter, he explains uh, quantum physics and he applies it to the human being uh, and basically explains uh, that we are much more focused. We have always been much more focused in matter uh, rather than in energy, even though uh, we live in an energetic world, energy is all around us. We are also energy. Uh, but the truth is that since we don't see it, uh, uh, we are focused on um, matter, which was uh, Newton's model of the world, matter. Uh, and that's what we can see, what we can experience, what immediately responds to us. Uh, and so does energy. Basically, that's what Joe, that Dr. Dispenza says. Uh, energy also responds to us and we, we, we have uh, uh, much more capacity to change our energy than we imagine. But since we've never done it, we were not trained to do it, we are not used to do it, what happens is that uh, we, well... We don't really, we are not uh, aware of it. We are not conscious of it. Uh, so and in the first chapter, he explains a little bit about this. And then he explains how uh, our energy, uh, uh, the things we are capable of, are much stronger than we imagine. And um, how come we can be more in contact, we, we can be more tuned to it. And basically, it's through the path of meditation. Meditation is uh, it's the exercise, uh, if I can say that. Uh, I don't have a better word right now. But let's just say it's the exercise that uh, allows us to be more uh, in, in tune with ourselves. It's uh, what allows us to, be, to bring to conscience our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, to be aware of what we are feeling and where in our body do we actually feel it. Uh, another interesting thing about what Dr. Joe Dispenza says uh, is that uh, this, uh, uh, the way that we think, the way that we feel, this is all related. And actually Dr. Antonio Damasio, uh, a neuroscientist who, who wrote Descartes' Herer uh, and also he wrote... Uh, 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 the feeling of the self, or I'm not sure if these are the English titles. I read his books in Portuguese, so I, I will uh, I will write under this video the exact titles of the books I'm mentioning. 
but uh, Dr. Antonio Damasio is a neuroscientist and he has also proven that uh, uh, where it, basically he showed how our thoughts are formed in our body and how our emotions are formed through the study of the brain. And he explains this in, in his books. And basically this is related uh, as well with what Dr. Joe Dispenza says uh, about the vibrational fields, about our energy and how we can use it. Another interesting thing about uh, breaking the habit of being yourself uh, and how we are uh, this conscious, this energy and how it all comes together. It's uh, also the um, uh, traditional Chinese medicine because in, in traditional Chinese medicine, I, I, I've, I've been reading about it now lately, uh, so I, I'm still, uh, I still have to dig in deeper before I can share it in Skin at Heart. But basically, what uh, traditional Chinese medicine says is that uh, everything is a whole. We are not like just, uh, you know, uh, drawers. We are, we are a whole and everything works together. We are, as human beings, uh, our our center, our energy center, our being, it's a, a whole and it cannot be like uh, separated. It cannot be, you cannot just analyze, let's say a finger and, and that's just it. You cannot compartment it. You, you are an entire uh, living uh, um, system. Yeah, system. That's a good word. It's uh, sometimes it's hard to find the exact right word when I'm doing these videos. But anyway, uh, so I believe that this all comes together. The uh, traditional Chinese medicine, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Dr. Antonio Damasio, all of these studies. Uh, another interesting thing that Dr. Joe Dispenza says is that we are the placebo and the Dr. Kelly Brogan, a psychiatrist that I've mentioned a few times on my, on my blog uh, in Skin at Heart, she also uh, says that, that the placebo effect, it's much stronger than we think and it's, it's basically us, it's our mind, it's our belief. Uh, and so this all comes together in Dr. Joe Dispenza's book and uh, it, it's like it all made sense and that's the reason why this book was so important for me and it changed my life, it changed my perception of what we are as human beings, of what we are as a part of a conscious. We are basically a manifestation of a conscious. I already have, of this consciousness I mean, uh, uh, I have... Um, I've had experiences in my life uh, that kind of, uh, that, that represented this, uh, but I was not aware of it. I, I, I did not know because we don't usually use the language and we don't usually use our perception to be aware of this since we are basically only aware of the, the world of matter and we are only focused on that. So we are not focused on our capabilities as energetic beings and of the things we can create when we use our energy to when our use when we use our energy to create to higher vibrational levels and so um yeah i i think that this sums up uh, all of the main things that i took from the book uh, uh but the one sentence once again that really made me change my perception is where we focus our attention, is where our energy is. So if we use our energy well, if we focus our attention in the things that really matter, that will be a really life-changing thing for us. And that's the reason why meditation and gratitude journals and yoga or Qigong or, or Tai Chi are so important because when you are doing things that you love, when you are focused on gratitude, when you are focused on being outside with nature, when you are focused on awe, when you are focused on beauty, then your energy levels, your your vibrational, uh, uh, your your vibrational frequency will be much higher, and that is measurable once again, as I said, than if you are focused on things that will make you feel uh, almost disconnected from the world. When you are, when your frequency is higher, you feel connected. You feel part as part of the whole, and you know that you are a manifestation of the, of this um, consciousness of this life form, and um, yeah, and uh, you feel more at peace, so to say. You don't feel empty anymore. You feel, you feel fulfilled. You feel whole. You feel as a part of a whole. But don't take my word for it. Just read the book. The name of the book is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself 
read the book, see what the book uh, has to offer, see how it makes you feel, how it makes you think. Uh, try meditation. Meditation is definitely one of the most important things uh, in my life. I've mentioned it uh, in Skin at Art a couple of times and why it was so important for me. Um, yeah, and uh, leave comments here, any questions you may have, any uh, your thoughts on the book, if you've read the book. Uh, subscribe to my channel, do a like for me, share this video with as many as you can. I've been talking about this book to everybody that I know. And uh, yeah, I think this, this book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza, really is one of the most important books. So just read it yourself and uh, take your own perception of it because I, I try to explain it with words here, the main uh, things that I got from the book. But uh, uh, words are not always perceived in the same way as they are sometimes spoken. So just read uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza's book and uh, take your own conclusions on it. So uh, up until my next video, you know, be happy.